Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa and here we are right after uh, Junko got killed by Monokuma and she's laying here dead. So yeah. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff but... Hang on. It's kind of loud. Okay. She really is dead. Well I mean she hasn't been moving in the past. I don't know how long, so I'm pretty sure she's dead. Yeah. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Rest in peace, Junko. You will be missed. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hero cracks me up. Hold on, just, just, just wait a second. She's dead? Then that means... What? That means everything that's happened. I love how gullible he is. Or not gullible, but like... I know how he like believes everything is a joke up until someone actually dies. But wait, Sayaka died. Would he not believe that's a joke? Or would he? I don't know. Because like, after Sayaka died, like, wouldn't you think that it's all real? You have to wait for two people to die, I guess? I don't know. That means everything that's happened so far is real? It's not a joke or whatever? It's really real? Let me out of here! Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. He's kind of... How do you say slow? But I do love him, though. I don't know. I mean, he's one of my favorites. Let me out of here! Come on, man! Let me out of here! Come on, someone let me out! Poor hero. Ugh, it lagged. I thought it was gonna freeze, but no. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? <laughs> You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't have- I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you're the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <laughs> F you! So then... Fine, then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That way there's no problem. Mm -hmm. Two-player co-op space defense with the two of them, with their stats, they're totally OP! Huh. Since we won't be able to invest to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is a bit eh. Okay. Um... I don't know. Hmm? <laughs> so, you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah! What? She's right! <laughs> and could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Uh-oh. Hold on a second! You've got it all wrong! For just one night, I, I traded rooms with her! I did it because she was afraid. <laughs> what the heck? You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth! The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words... You think I did it?! So then... Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong... So... Well, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you me. I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. 
With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I'd better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a butt did this is here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence... You're fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. Good lord. I'm serious. I will F them up. Letting, letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sokka ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway, we don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very suspicious. It was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well at least check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with b b b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I b black out. Oh yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting looks at me had but still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Yeah, Monokuma, we get it. You don't have to spell it out. Electric chair! <laughs> yeah, okay, we, we've been through that. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Alright, it's investigation time. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Saika Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There is also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth. So that we can all survive! Go Makoto! And for Sayaka. I have to find out who she, uh, who she was killed. Okay, that makes no sense. Sorry. I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright, so let's go investigate, because, I mean, we don't really have to investigate Junko. We know who killed her. It was Monokuma, or the Mastermind. That, that's, that's not a mystery. So, like, yeah. Because we saw her die right then and there. <laughs> so, first of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. <laughs> we won't make any progress without investigating there. So I headed to my room where Saika's corpse still remained. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Saika see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? I mean, probably. I mean... I know, I, I know stuff, but I'm not gonna, like, spoil it while investigating. I'm just gonna be like, huh, maybe she did clean it, blah, 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 you know, I mean, for those that are, like, who, I'm, I, I should not say anymore, because, like, there will be players who are, like, and then there are players who, or people who haven't played are, like, oh, okay, sorry, I'm just, 
getting ahead of myself here. Okay, there's a key on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. If I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We have to, we'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Yeah, because she's supposed to keep the door closed and not open it for anyone. So. Could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Well, I mean, I obviously know everything, but I can't spoil it. Which is why when I examined the lint roller, I was like, eh, I can't say stuff about that. Sorry. Okay, uh, let's look at the sword pieces. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? We will find out. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used- Oh, this was with the sheath too. It was using attack somehow, and plus, it's been taken out of its sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. I shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. Well, ducks, obviously someone held it and the coating came off. Big surprise. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Exactly. It's like someone could just hold it and then get gold all over their hands, so. Yerp. Replica sword has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I don't know if I should read those each time something gets added, because... I don't know. Oh no, there's scratches on my floor! There are scratches and gouges on my wall and walls and bed. Uh, how am I supposed to sleep in that bed? Monokuma, can I have my bed replaced? It's like damaged. No replacing the bed! Fine. I'll just take Saika's bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. But Makoto, if you remember, the walls are completely soundproof. There's no point, or there's no way you could hear anything. So, like, yeah. Wait. That would not have been possible. See what I mean, people? Huh? Makoto, are you as slow as Hero? Because, I mean, you're, you're, you're sounding like it. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you and there's no way you could know. Well. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. <laughs> Evidence of struggle level. Well, I'm not going to read those each time, just because. Oh, my table got knocked over too. God, uh, way to abuse my room, Saika. <laughs> The toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yes, yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? What? We ain't exactly in the mood to be building an effing furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then. What? Not just what? me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way... None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet, because why the hell would we? 
Oh, okay. Mm, do I need to look at the notebook? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. It's the first case, okay? I played it a long time ago. The notepad is still here, but... I don't think it's relevant right now. Yeah, okay. By the way... You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. Are you saying I did it, Mondo, because this is my room and I could have destroyed evidence because it's in my room? Jeez, you guys. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Y yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty butt. Ugh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead. So if I ever find the son of a gun that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. He is so violent, like, oh my god. Like, I love Mondo, but... Yeah. But, what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> well, Mondo, we need, we need to talk, Mondo. We really seriously need to talk. Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. Mondo, like I said, we need to talk. Cause, yeah. What about you, Sakura? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision that the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Okay, well, let's go check in here, I guess. I should look around here first. I can check other spots later. <sighs> okay, I'll check around here some more. Um. Can I check the... Oh, okay. It's the display stand the sword was on. That's it? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying here. Okay. Um... Oh, wait, we haven't talked to Kyoko. Oops, my bad. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay. I'll talk to Kyoko then, because I forgot, because she's, like, behind Mondo, so, like, eh. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. <laughs> Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched her for one, from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it too? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Saika or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room, blah blah blah. Now can I go and check the bathroom? The bathroom, and on the other side of this door... Is Saika's body! <laughs> no, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Poor Makoto. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her, her. Sayaka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. 
I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but the thought held me up and supported me. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but... But now's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object has been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? I mean, I know where. It's obvious. I guess. That's definitely something I should look into later. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay a visit to the dining hall. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Yep, the gold paint. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? Because she might have written something on the back of the wall if you can, that you can clearly see, so it's not like it's hidden. Sorry if there's a weird pause here, guys. I had to edit some accidental spoiler stuff out that I slipped. So. Also, I just noticed there's, like, blood marks on the shower door. Or something. Yeah. I never know. I don't know if I paid attention to that before. I didn't notice the marks on, like, the... Yeah. The stab wound in her stomach is what, is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Yeah, I didn't notice, like, I was talking about this. Like, I never paid attention to this before. I'm like, I'm like, dang, did she try to write something here, too? I don't know. Sorry, I, I already clicked this, I know. Okay. I looked past Saika to the wall behind her, and there I saw... What? Written in blood were the numbers 11037. Did Saika do this? Well, I mean, who else could have? I mean, others could have, but like, you know. Okay, I think I investigated everything in here. Yeah. Okay. It would seem. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers that most likely Sayaka's dying message. <laughs> I've never seen something written in blood before. It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with life, herself, life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? I mean, I obviously do. But, I won't spoil it. Well? Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Saika's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. I do. Oh, I know who, oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it got, get stuck? What? Get stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. 
I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Yep, it's broken. Huh? The doorknob? What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off! Yeah, who did this to my door? I mean, I know, but... Yeah, I just, I just, I'm just like I said, I'm gonna be speaking as Makoto like, Who broke my door? Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that you ba your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is, only you and Sayaka knew about it. Hmm? Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I get the sense that she was really starting to get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up. I mean, I get into these too, like when I play murder mystery games like this and Phoenix Wright and stuff, like I get into like solving them. I don't know, I've just, I've been interested in this, in this game genre lately. Or, for a while, so. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from, and also... I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. The Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see her from, see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas we're checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks, if they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay. We had to go to the dining hall. That's not really anything spoilery. Because, I mean, it was kind of, well, I mean, I never really quite said, but no. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps to keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. Yeah, the dining hall is kind of like chill and calming. I like the atmosphere of it. I don't know. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Saika was killed. Oh. Hmm. I thought she told us some other stuff. Oh wait, I have to go in the kitchen first, that's right. Then she tells us that. I mean, I know nothing. I will say nothing more. I need to like keep my mouth shut because I don't want to spoil this game for anyone. I'm terrible. Okay, uh, yep, as I knew, it's missing. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning, or...? I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. Okay. Yeah, now we talk to Hina again. Hey, so, did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange. A knife just suddenly disappeared like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Hmm. Yeah. 
In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure, you can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which proves I didn't take it. Yay, Hina's our saving grace. Um... Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Because, I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together... Aww. I honestly have no idea. Gee, thanks, Hina. Some friend you are. Just kidding. Okay. So... Would Jahiro be in his her Would Jahiro be in her room? Uh, where where's her room? Oh hi hi doofus. Uh, I, 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 I told you I love making fun of Biakia, okay? This is Chihiro's room. I don't think there's anything here that will help me. I thought you wanted it maybe she's somewhere else. I don't know. Okay, uh <laughs> Oh, we should go in Saika's room. Darr. And get the, um, DVD that we found in her trash can? Wait. Name plates are switched. Does that mean... Huh? This is Saika's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. I go in and investigate? Wow. Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Saika's name on it. The nameplates on my room and Saika's room were switched? So all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay, now I should go be able to go into Saika's room and get the DVD. There can only be one thing in the trash can. Yep, the DVD with Saika's name on it. Saika got really upset after seeing whatever was on that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly, directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Saika. I need to borrow this DVD. Okay. <sighs> okay, I guess I should go watch that. Do that. First, get that over with. Take your room at this way. Sorry, I'm just sight saying spouting random stuff. I, I was like in between saying saying and spouting and it came out as some jumbled up word. Okay. But I just like saying random stuff as I'm walking, just to make it less boring. Okay. Let's watch her DVD. I should be able to use this <coughs> to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Saika threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And there's Saika right in front and center. And standing on stage for took the words out of my mouth, but I mean, I, I have played this game before, so I guess I'm memorizing the words without noticing, or whatever. And standing on stage, on stage front and center was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka, my dream girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I love Makoto, I do. He's just so cute, and in love, and then the sad stuff happens. You know, but yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll stop being so random and continue. She was there, along with the friends she had been so, she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... 
that voice I come to despise so much, so very much, began to flow out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Suddenly, the screen went dark. Oh, here comes the bad part. Oh, I mean, because you know, you know it's going to be like Makoto's DVD, you know, so. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. <laughs> what the? Saika had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Poor Sayaka, like they meant so much to her. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get the to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Uh, whoever's controlling Monokuma? Or is Monokuma on autopilot? No. Hate to say it, but that's not the case here. I don't think that's much of a spoiler. Monokuma's not on autopilot, someone's controlling him. I mean, obviously. Hello, Taka. Nice day we're having, Listen right? To me. Do you have a second, Makoto? I've uncovered something most unusual. The door to everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show whose room is it is, right? You hear me? Well, it just so happens. <clears throat> Wait, no, no, no. You might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it. Forget everything I just said. Forget, forget, forget Beam! Mikuru Beam! I, I, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes sometimes. Ha ha ha. Dots. It's okay, Taka. We love you. We love you. Keep watching after us, you sweet thing. Okay. Oh, I'll stop flirting with all the dudes and get to work here. Um, there's no use checking the bathrooms. I mean, obviously. No need to check the main hall. Oh, wait, 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 the trash room, that's right. Uh, crap, that was... Back this way. Oh, yeah, we gotta find Chihiro, too. But I'll check the trash room first, and then look for Chihiro. Okay, trash room. I think it was... Wait, no. Back this way, I think. Here it is, trash room. There's a sturdy gate here, no way to get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line! The trash room! This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up! Including you, Makoto, so get in there! I I'm not trash, it's Nagito! Get in the trash! And don't talk about Nagito that way! We love him! How do you get this gate- how do you get this gate open? No, no! You can't go any further! No entry beyond this point! Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in! Cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Yeah, he repeats this over and over. It's like, oh, maybe now he's on autopilot! <laughs> Who's on cleaning duty? No, no! You can't go any further! Yeah, this gets annoying. This is stupid. It'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any Oh, just shut up and go away. Okay. So, yeah. We gotta talk to the Mr. Cleaning Duty. Or Mrs. Cleaning Duty. Okay. And I know who it is, so I'm gonna go right 
to them. Yeah. It's a boomy. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Clean. Excuse me. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma had talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school will be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so, I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Here we go! Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Yeah, that, that would then mean that the killer would be able to throw away evidence easy or easier if that were the case. So. so that's it. That must be why... If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. How unfortunate for me. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want the cleaning duty gig anyway? Well, Leon, way to bully someone. Oh, um... I, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... Liar. I know why you did it. Is it, like... You want to dig through all the girls' trash, looking for, you know, and poking around at it? Leon, if I had a baseball bat, I would whack you in the head right now. And then the butt. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? All my love is for Tootie! I mean, I get that. I have a lot of duty husbands, so... I mean, did I say that out loud? Oh, you just ignore I mean. that. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... Completely unforgivable! I would never get tired of 2D! <sighs> After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily chose 2D. Well, I mean... 2D characters can't really hurt you, I guess. Well, I mean, they can, but, like, you know what I mean. So, I, I, I understand his point, but I know he means way worse than that, what, what, what he's implying here. But, I mean, I'm just saying 2D characters can't, like, break your heart or anything, so, like, yeah. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower love and affection on 2D! Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. Well, I mean, I do love my Reno figure, so. And there's a new one coming out that I need to, like, save up for. So, how are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's <laughs> questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Just close his mouth with duct tape. I've got some in my room. High quality. Would you like some? Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them, from picking up the trash to disposing of it. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic, Hifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, we haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma, or save a village, or beat a boss. Okay, okay, let's go play Final Fantasy VII, and then after, like, we beat a boss, then can we go in? Wait, we can't play Final Fantasy here. Oh, what's the point? Actually, maybe you could. Maybe he's got it in his dorm room. So, I mean, if I was stuck in here, I'd want my Final Fantasy. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. 
you got it. <laughs> okay, says you. Okay. So easy. So if we mean I headed down to the trash room. Hmm. You'd like me to hmm. open the gate, hmm. wouldn't you? Hmm. <laughs> You know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. <clears throat> get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going away. Whatever, please just hurry up. Like, seriously. <laughs> Okie dokie, leave it to me. If only pulled a key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Oh, look at this. Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi... Without a doubt! Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, you fiend! You planned this all along! No! I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Hmm. But the hmm. actual killer is you, isn't hmm. it? You want to see if you left anything behind. <laughs> Wait, m maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Okay, so what is? There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. It looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? I'm not gonna sing, I swear. <laughs> Thoughts. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth, and the shape... It's a sleeve. Part of the sleeve of, from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. But there are lots of people here with white button-up shirts. Biakia, we gotta talk. There, this isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. No, I, just, I, I love to poke fun at Biakia, okay? If that's not obvious by now, I'm gonna be picking fun at him throughout the whole game. Just get used to it. Okay. He just makes it so easy. I'm sorry. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some kind of glass ball. Just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. And it's broken. What a waste of glass. Hope no one glass. steps on it. Like, don't, don't hurt yourself. There's broken glass. Yeah, it's that. Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. If it me the same Dragon Ball. Mm. Um, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on a big city, on any big city street corner. Gaze into it, and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mina girl who's on that quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the gym. I better go find out for sure. Oh, that's where they are. Okay. This is the incinerator. It's the way it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And and it's on right now. Mm-hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, indeed. It's a pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get it going and the yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave, okay? Ha! <laughs> huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Interesting. Very? Yeah, we totally got fairies in the school. You just haven't seen them yet. But I have. Just kidding. Hifumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> huh? The fairy? No. You said that last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes. About that there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday. As soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. Definitely wasn't one, wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, someone stole your key. No, I'm just kidding. 
most suspicious. Because I think they stole the key, he'd notice, because I'm sure he, like, guarded it with his life. That's just the kind of person he is. Should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... And, of course, if he still has the key, then duh. No one stole it. So. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? This whole thing is quite strange indeed. He goes from the lot, it's kind of annoying. This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off. Those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. Completely unforgivable! What does it all mean, Mr. Nagy? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it! I'm sure of it! Everyone already knows you did it! All the mysteries are being solved one by one! Sounds like he's living out one of his comic book fantasies. Um, I think I checked everything here? Yeah, okay. So that's basically all to check. So, Okay, so the gym is where everyone else is at. And we gotta talk to Chihiro. And one other person. Ain't gonna say who, but... Yeah. But definitely Chihiro, because ultimate programmer and stuff. Okay. And she would know numbers. At least I hope she knows numbers. <sighs> okay. I almost ran right into the door. That'd be good, Makoto. Just knock yourself out. <laughs> and then you'll miss the trial and then get executed. Oh, just the two people I wanted to see. I mean, oops. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about that. Cause yeah. Hey, Chihiro. I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Oh, what is it? Before she died, Saika left a message. She wrote out the numbers one one zero three seven. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code or something? Hmm. Um. Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, couldn't be. No, like, Chihiro's the kind of person, like, if she knew something, she would let you know if it was important. So, like... Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? <laughs> No, 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 I gotta get out of here! I gotta get out now! I've had enough! Gotta break free! Can I snap out of it before I smack you? Uh, um... Yeah! Huh? huh? Makoto, what are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? <laughs> <laughs> That's my crystal ball who broke it! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? Uh, I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed! He said it was unbreakable! He lied to me! So, how did it break? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? <sighs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon? It's okay, hero, we love you. He said whoever controlled that crystal ball controlled the world. Is that seriously all BS? Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? I'm surprised he didn't wash it, though. <laughs> Accidentally. Like, oops, left it in my pocket. Oh no, I broke in the laundry. <laughs> that is totally something he would do. I kid you not. Like, you, you can't tell me that's something he would not, or he would do. Or would not do, I mean. Because he could only do that. Okay, I'll shut up now. That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sh sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask. <gasps> but how much did you pay for that thing? You should not ask that question. You don't want to know the answer. <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Came out to be like a million. A million? See, I told you. Uh, um. <laughs> that, 
Yeah, that, that is not cheap, Hero. He, he's got huge money issues, obviously, in this game. But I still love him. That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world... He's got money issues and he's gullible. Why is he my favorite besides Toko, you ask? I, I wonder that myself, but he just is. I just I love his character so much. It's just, I, I love how much of a doofus he is, but he's a lovable doofus. Unlike the other doofus that a lot of people love. So, yeah. And I mean Byakuya. That's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. I mean, I can't either. Oh, goody, it's trial time. And I might stop this here. And we'll do the trial in the next episode. So, because it's late. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. Yep, that mysterious door. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. And if, if this one's a bit short, like if it's like only 40 minutes, I will put the next episode in with this one and make it longer. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. And also, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday because, you know, it's just past Christmas. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. I know some of those are still going on or haven't started yet. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next... Yeah. I stumbled over words, I'm sorry. I will see you guys in the next episode. And in the next one, we will start the trial for Sayaka. So yeah, okay, see you then. Take care.